So Walmart has just released their brand new ONN Streaming Box Pro. And before we get into the specs and all that, we have to address the elephant in the room. They've, they've increased the price, but not just a little bit. Now, what is ONN known for? Their streaming devices are cheap and affordable and semi-reliable most of the time. And their cheapest box comes in at $19.99, probably the most bang for your buck you can get on the market right now for an official device. But their Pro model is going to be coming in at $50, nearly two and a half times more expensive than their previous model. So this thing has to have some specs to back it up, and that's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. We're gonna get into comparing this to the original ONN box, and then of course also the Fire Stick 4K Max that just came out. So let's start with the previous specs on the ONN streaming box. With a 4K display, the box also came with two gigabytes of RAM and eight gigabytes of ROM, giving you pretty low storage for a box style device. It also ran the A35 quad core chip, and honestly tested pretty good on AFTV News benchmark test where he kind of pushes these to the limit in terms of their CPU and their GPU. But it had no USB ports and no Ethernet port and a pretty whack remote but still for $19.99 a steal. So now let's bring in the new device, the Pro, and this is everything we know about it so far because it's not officially released yet, but some people seem to have their hands on it already. Now it's still going to be a 4K box, we're not going to get any Dolby Atmos added on unfortunately, but you are getting an increase to 3 gigabytes of RAM, and you're also getting an increase in storage, up to 32 gigabytes, that is massive and typically unheard of for these style of boxes. Unless of course you get like a third party box like a Mi Cool or one of the cheap Android ones, then you can get like 128 gigabytes. But here's a few of the other bonuses. For one, they've included both an ethernet and a USB port in the device. And it seems there's also a button on the side for the built-in voice assistant feature. So you can toggle this on and off directly on the device. And this means the new Pro model also has a bunch of voice features not previously available apart from the Google Assistant you could use with your remote. And there's also been some mentions of a potential lost remote feature where you can find your remote. We're not 100% sure on that yet, so we'll have to wait until I get the device in to further verify. So I wanted to compare it to a device that's a very similar price point on the market, and that's the 4K Max, which is typically $10 more, but it goes on sale all the time for like $50 or $40, so we're going to consider it basically the same. So now that we know the specs of the ONN streaming box, Let's talk about the Fire Stick 4K Max. Of course, it's a 4K device with Dolby Vision built in. And as for RAM and storage, it has around two gigabytes of RAM and around 16 gigabytes of storage, which is a huge increase for the Fire Stick, right? Typically eight gigabytes, the normal standard, but still lower in both categories than our Walmart ONN 4K Pro. Now the Fire Stick Max does not have a USB port and it does not have an ethernet port. So the Pro model for the box, of course, gets the up there. Now the S904X chip that can be found in the ONN 4K Pro box is a pretty standard chip across all streaming devices. This chip has been around I, I, from as long as I can remember, like 2019, maybe even before that. And you can find it across tons of different streaming boxes, all of that. It's very reliable, but it is still technically an older chip. Now, a lot of people would assume because it has three gigabytes of RAM, it's going to be faster than the Fire Stick 4K Max. And that's not necessarily the case. In most situations, more RAM will undoubtedly make your device faster. But of course, this also matters what kind of RAM you're using. So until we see some benchmark tests and actually get it in our hands, it's impossible to say if this device is going to be faster or if it's going to be slower. And with the Fire Stick being a pretty well-built device with tons of updates, it's going to be pretty hard to beat. Now, I also want to remind you, devices only have to be so fast to stream. It's not like throwing together a 16 gigabyte device, 16 gigabytes of RAM with a crazy processor and all these crazy accessories are going to make it that much faster. You know, you only need so much to stream and to do the basic tasks that 90% of us are doing, probably more like 99%. Now, I think the question a lot of you want the answer to is, is this going to be a great device for that price point? Because $50 is a huge increase from that friendly $19.99 that we're all used to. And really only time will tell, but from what I can see from the initial specs, the upgrades, the USB, the ethernet, all of that, it looks like this is 
a very competitive, friendly price point, where in fact, it might end up being a way better deal than the Fire Stick, or it could just be a huge bust and all of a sudden they've priced themselves too expensive and everybody just sticks with their devices as is. But with Chromecast also releasing a new device probably in 2024, and what I think is going to be NVIDIA looking to release a new device in 2024 or 2025, there's a lot of upcoming competition and I could see a world where ONN just overpriced themselves for a market that's about to get a bunch of new devices. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this content. I just wanted to go over my thoughts on this new device and what has been leaked so far. I should have it in my hands, hopefully in the upcoming few weeks. Thank you guys for watching and checking out the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Ah.